Watch the Big Championship debate every Friday on the Planet Sport Network, as well as the two other weekly shows. And as a one-off, enjoy this week's episode for free on YouTube. Hello everybody, welcome back. It is that time of the week again. And we are here for the big championship debate. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that last week's debate might just have been my favourite so far. So I'm happy to sort of take a back seat for this one and sort of cool off a little bit from that debate last time. Ben, from your angle, um, how did you see the debate last time? <laughs> it was it was massively entertaining. And I, I think you won, didn't you, with... Um with yeah. Ben Pearson. And we're going to try and see through the season how many different situations Ben HD can put Ben Pearson in and still win the debate. So I look yeah. forward to him appearing very soon. I'm sure he would be appearing today um, if you were taking part, Ben. And that's just what I was about to say, really, because I think that Ben Pearson would be up there, to be honest with you. But the topic of today's debate, I think, will end up being quite the fun one, to be honest with you. We are going to be debating which championship player would you most want to be organising your stag do. So you can sort of bring the factors into this one. What sort of things do you want this player to be doing for you? You have to sell them to me and sell the night out as a whole. That's what I'm really looking for in this debate here. So first of all, we'll do what we usually do. We'll go around everyone and we're just looking for your answer. Then I'll come back for you for the debate itself. So uh, Ben, as you're next to me, we'll kick off with you. Who are you going for as your answer in this one? Ilias Chair. Oh, interest. I'm, <laughs> I'm interested to see how you're going to argue this one. Okay, interesting start. Successfully. To this one. Uh, <laughs> Justin, <laughs> who are you fancying for this one? The veteran of the championship, Richard Stearman. Strong. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I can definitely see an angle that you're going to come into this one. And then finally with Ryan, who are you going to be coming in with? I've gone for the South American hero, Ben Brereton Diaz. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I can definitely see a few angles that you guys are going to go down for this one. Very. Much I can't see what Ben's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I think we'll go ahead and start off with Ben in this debate here today. So before we get into this, by the way, I must say that it is you guys that are going to be actually judging this one. So you can take down some notes, you guys that are watching this one, and let us know down below who you think came out victorious in this debate here today. But Ben... I'm really interested to see what, which way you're going to go for this one. So take us away. Why do you want chair as your man? Uh, just before we start, um, I just wanted to bring it up to the um, <laughs> to the watchers here. That um, And it's another supermarket story, I'm afraid, but I've looked at some footage and um, Ryan Dilks was actually in the supermarket the other day. Um, he picked up a jar of Branston, walked over and saw in a different aisle it was on offer. And he just put the other one back on the shelf but not in the place where it's supposed to be. Just took it out and put it on the shelf. So just before we start... I've um, been exposed. Uh, I just want to expose the guy in the Dortmund shirt down there. But what I really want to do is talk to you about 24-year-old Ilias Chair, who obviously um, living down in Shepherd's Bush, um, he's going to know all the good haunts. So this stag do for you, Ben, is going to start down there in Shepherd's Bush there in West London. Um, I don't know, maybe some free drinks down there and you'll all realize that Ilias Chair is a Moroccan international so we might be able to go take a little pipe stick it in our mouth in a Moroccan cafe <laughs> down in Shepherd's <laughs> Bush and have a little bit of fun um, to start us off and then because we're in West London you know that we are not far from Heathrow Airport there and you know that Ilias Chair has got links with Morocco we're going to go to Morocco with Ilias Chair on our stag do. Away we go. On the plane we go. And um, Ilias is a, you know, he's he's been a decent standard footballer for a while. He's going to fly you not only first class, business class, over to Morocco. You go, you land. And who's waiting for you in the departure lounge? It's Adel Tarat, his Moroccan <laughs> international teammate. And we know you're going to have a great night with Ilias Chair. And add El Tarab. It's a weekend in Morocco. It's pre drinks in Shepherd's Bush. A little bit of the shisha before we start to calm everybody down. And what a great weekend Ilias Chair is going to give you before you get married, Ben HD. 
Wow. I mean, I wasn't sure what to expect coming into this debate. <laughs> here when, you that, when you gave <laughs> us that answer, but um, yeah, interesting, interesting points. I'm very much looking forward to seeing um, the other two guys go back on that debate when we circle back round then, Ron. But next up, we'll go to Justin. Sammy I think Stavis some COVID morning. travel issues might be brought up, might <laughs> <laughs> One way to it. Uh... Um, bring up some ammunition, absolutely. But I've, I'm, yeah, absolutely gone with uh, Richard Stearman here. And for me, Richard Stearman, I mean, Ben's uh, ben, uh, Ben's mentioned uh, locations. Richard Stearman's been everywhere. He's been in Leicester. He's been in Sheffield. He's been in West London at Fulham. He knows where to go out for a drink, and we know he can handle his drink as well. There are several videos that have gone viral of uh, Richard Stearman putting away pints. One where he's tipping a glass so far above his head and dropping it straight into his mouth. He knows how to have a good time. And it was part of that uh, infamous Sheffield United squad that got promoted that didn't sleep for days. Paul Coots fell asleep at the Crucible, if everyone remembers rightly. And it's just nobody else. And he's, he's, he's a cult cool, cool hero wherever he's been. So he's going to get the drinks in. He's going he's gonna to bring the tray of drinks to you. He's going to make sure you drink them. He's going to make sure you have a good time. He's going to make sure that... You don't sleep for three days, and that's what exactly what you want to stag do. None of this traveling around to <laughs> different airports and different locations. Richard Stearman will get you covered. We'll go to Sheffield. We'll go to the Lead Mill. We'll, have, we'll just have a right good time. Absolutely no need to visit any other country other than Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I like it. The Sheffield. opposite. Going against a lot of what Ben said already, I like that one there. Uh, last but not least, let's go to Ryan. And uh, yeah, I'm interested to see how you're formulating this argument. Well, straight off, on the way to Heathrow, we are going on a first-class plane all the way to Santiago in Chile. <laughs> because as soon as you go to Chile with Ben Brereton Diaz in your posse, you are instantly seen as, you know, God. You are, he is a hero in Chile. Elias Chair. Moroccans barely know who he is, but Ben Brereton Diaz, his face is plastered all over the place. He's on Pepsi adverts. He's on some shampoo adverts. He's all over the place. And whenever you are with him, he'll get you straight into any club, any bar that you want. Free drinks. So it's going to be the cheapest round, even though you're going to Santiago, it's going to be the cheapest round that you're going to have out of all of the ones that we mentioned here. You'll get treated like a god, Ben. A god. Here in tow with Ben Brereton Diaz and the rest of the Chile squad. Alexi Sanchez is in tow as well, and <laughs> some other Chileans whose names I've completely forgotten. Gonzalo Hara. Gun- yeah, <laughs> <Shake Vara. laughs> Gonzalo Hara's there as well. Um, it's great. It's going to be an absolute blast. So you're going around, you're having sangrias, you're having every other Chilean delicacy that you can think of, every Everything's paid for. You're going to all the best places in Santiago. Do I need to say any more? You're going to be treated like royalty, Ben, and it's going to be the best stag do. It's not going to be just the best stag do you've had of your life. It's going to be the best week of your life because we're going for seven wow. days, baby. Wow. I like I like it. Everyone's sold sort of a different angle of the stag doing here. So I'm sure that the viewers um, watching this will all have a different view on this one. Uh, this now, though, is my favourite part of the debate because this is the time where you just get to absolutely tear each other's arguments down. So, uh, Ben, we'll circle back to you for this one. What have you got to say about what Ryan and Justin have had to say for their two arguments? Yeah, sorry, it slipped my mind earlier and I didn't bring it up. That um, footage had uh, circulated. You can see Justin Peach has got nice short haircut there he goes to an old school barber where basically it's first come first serve and peach walked into the barber sat down and the hairdresser didn't see and there was actually someone ahead of him in the queue when he turned round and said right who's next um to get in the chair peach didn't say oh it's that guy and the other guy was too kind and he basically queue jumped to get his haircut so i just um i don't know why that slipped my mind earlier but i just thought i'd mention that (laughs) Um, first of all, um, Justin very disrespectfully didn't mention that Richard Stearman played for Ipswich under Mick McCarthy. So he's missed out the chance to go down to the Ipswich waterfront, maybe go to Isaac's for a drink uh, down there and um, end up in whatever nightclub I went to in Ipswich when I was about 21. So it was a very, very long, long time ago. So, um, yeah, Stearman, I mean, I know it's, you know, Fair enough, he'll be the life and soul. Stearman always is the life and soul. But 
I, I mean, I don't want to big up Ryan's, um, but, you know, stag dues have evolved from just going down the lead mill and, you know, paying, paying to see a band and having a few drinks with steers and, you know, trying to, um, trying to stay awake for three days. Um, in terms of Brereton Diaz, I mean, look, I, you know, we don't want to be disparaging about um, a particular country, but um, Chile, you've got to be careful if you, if you go to, you know, if you go to Chile, you've got to be looked after. Um, that's not going to happen in Morocco. Um, Adel Tarab actually um, owns a, um, a, a very nice place where you're, you're all going to go, and I've just made that up. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> Adel Tarab's fictional um, Moroccan. Um, and, I mean, I think the big thing is, what is what drink is Ben Brereton Diaz known for? Pepsi Max, isn't it? I'm offering you shisha in Shepherd's Bush, and Dilks is offering you Pepsi Max. Really? <laughs> Come on, what sort of stag do do you want, Ben? Strong stuff, strong stuff there from Ben, who's come out swinging at the other two arguments. Justin, we'll head to you next to go ahead and put these two down. And I mean, you come up with quite the interesting argument here because different people are coming at different sides of the coin here. So, uh, what's your pushback on their two answers? It's much easier to get the train than it is a plane at the minute. Simple as. <laughs> I'm not spending half of my stag do or half of a stag do in quarantine, which you're going to have to. Is that country? Is Chile red listed? Is Morocco red listed? Who knows? If it gets red listed while you're over there, you're stuck there or you're stuck back in the UK and you end up going to a spoons uh, around the corner, <laughs> which is not where you want to go. Um, Elias Chair, there's not really much to say about Elias Chair. I mean, yeah, it might, it might be nice going to Morocco. It might be nice going around Shepherd's Bush, but. It's not going to be a Richard Stearman experience, which is what, which is what you pay for with Richard Stearman. It is the Richard Stearman experience. It is the Dick Stearman experience. And <laughs> anything else, I think, is just wrong. And for example, if you go to Chile with Ben Broughton Diaz, he's going to be centre of detention. It's your stag do. It's not the Ben Broughton Diaz show. It's your stag do. It's it's your day. It's your experience, not Ben Broughton Diaz's. So who wants to be stuck in a in a big crowd of of paparazzi being followed around? It's not going to be fun. You're not going to be able to get into places because you're just not going to be able to get through the crowds. And then you, yeah, I've, I've got that's all I've got to say about it actually because COVID travel restrictions has just completely stumped your <laughs> arguments. I'm getting very logical about it here. <laughs> ben, you gave me the uh, the insight on it. Richard Stearman, he's he's known for his uh, his experiences. I don't think stag do's have evolved from the uh, going to see a band at the lead mill. I think I think it's still a thing. It's got to be a thing because we can't travel. Simple as that. Strong stuff. Brought the heat there in some of those responses. Uh, Ryan, you're going to get the say now on these two debates and what you made them so far. What have you got to say? <laughs> well, well, I'll start off by saying uh, Benjamin was talking about Richard Stearman, you know, possibly going to Ipswich. I lived in Ipswich for nine months and that is not a good Did night you? out. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I went I went to Isaac's a few times, but there were no nightclubs there. So that's going to be a trash night out. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, Justin was talking about Richard Stearman not being, uh, he'll be able to get into everywhere. Richard Stearman has got no pull anywhere. Richard Stearman could walk into my room right now and I wouldn't recognise him. So <laughs> how's a bouncer going to recognise him in Sheffield? Extremely disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, how's a bouncer in Sheffield going to recognise him? You're going to spend all your time waiting around to get into anywhere. And because Richard Stearman's too busy getting tanked up, he'll lose everyone halfway through the night out and it will just be a big mess anyway. So that sounds like an absolute disaster. If you ask me, um, Benjamin was basically backing up my argument, talking about going abroad. So I, I think he's done more good for me than <laughs> he's done any damage. And he was talking about Pepsi. May I remind you, Ben Barrett Diaz is born from the mean streets of Stoke. So therefore, I think he's more than happy to have a Stella or two instead of a Pepsi all the time <laughs> instead. Uh, Justin was talking about him not getting in anywhere. He's got security, obviously, because he's Ben Brereton Diaz. They'll separate the crowds and he'll be in his own VIP bit, getting into everywhere as quickly as possible. Sure, it'll be all about him. But, I mean, you're on a night out with Ben Brereton Diaz, where the man is basically the David Beckham of Chile. I don't see what the problem is here. If, if you got offered the chance to have David Beckham on your stag do, that would sound amazing. So I'd be all over that like a rash. I don't really know what Justin's point was that he was trying to make there, Ben. 
Wow. Three very, very strong debates. And do you know what? I'm quite glad that I don't have to come up with the final decision on this one and that we're actually leaving this one to the viewers down below because three very strong debates in this one, I have to say. Uh, any final words from any of you guys on this one here? Ben, a couple of words to summarise your one. Yeah, just as usual, the uh, second tier boys, extremely disrespectful um, in multiple areas. I like to try and act with class and class and dignity here. And hopefully that will make me the way I just and also um, Adil Tarab is the David Beckham of um, of Morocco. So you do get you do get that sway, although I feel I'm cheating a little bit pulling a second player into this. But um, yeah, um, that's my tactic and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Justin, if there was one final thing you could say to the viewers to maybe sway them, what would it be? If we're talking about David Beckham, Richard Simmons is David Beckham of Sheffield. What else <laughs> do you need? And uh, yeah, I've got, I mean, Richard Simmons, a name, I've only got to put his name in there and he's, he's a sure winner. I'm very confident with this one. And then finally for Ryan, how confident are you in the viewers' choices for this one? You get free roam of Santiago. I don't really see what the issue is here. Every, everything's free. You get to go wherever you want. <laughs> it's, it's a done deal for me. I, I think I've won already. I like it. Well, guys, you have the final say on this one in the comments down below. We'll have a bit of a look at them in the next episode of the debate and find out who was the actual winner of this one. Let us know down below which person won the debate and who would you most like to go on a night out with for your stag do. Also, let us know any other suggestions that you've got down there for other championship players who you think might be fun because I think there's certainly some other honourable mentions. Apart from that, thank you very much for this debate, guys. And we'll see you all in the next one. Ilias <clears throat> Chair.